Hello! In this video I'm gonna show you how to use the AO properly. I'm gonna try to explain it slowly with my English, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna show you what you can do and how to edit, how to add your own stuff and everything. So let's start. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna show it's the instructions of the AO step by step. Here you can see all of it and here is the AO. So this button is the main button. It's for turning it on and off. So this button is minimizing button. When you click it, the AO is minimizing or expanding. So the pause button it's making your avatar stand still. It's when you want to edit something on your avatar or you're just tired of the moving. You click it on and off. The next one we have lock, move lock. You can use it the same way as Firestorm one. When you don't want to be pushed around at events or some some place. This one is pretty complex. It's let's say AO inside the AO. It's add-on AO. It's for adding extra note cards or note card sets with just hands, arms, necks, neck and head. So I think I loaded something. This one for example the chill out. You see she's standing kind of still and now I'm using the chill out hands animations. So this way you can play more animations in your still poses and make them different. In the middle button it's the menu for it. You can set the timer of these animations, the way they will play if random or sequence or single. And the config is the button to load the other note cards, which you can make by yourself. You can just get own animations for hands, arms, neck and head. Make your own note card and you can use it in this area of the AO. Same goes for the head. Let me stop the hands. Now she has the head on I think yeah and now it's off and you can just turn it off by clicking on this one let me show you in the local chat you see head disabled hands disabled now it's enabled and disabled All these buttons will tell you stuff in the local chat. Mm, the next button is sit. Okay, now it's the AO sits. And you turn them and move them with these arrow keys. The same go for the ground sits. I don't know how to sit on the ground in this viewer. But it works the same way. It's enabled, disabled and you move the arrows. The next one is a dance button. When you click on it, you start dancing. You can move the dances, switch them. If you want to set the timer for the dances, it's under the menu here. And you can set the timer. You can set if you want them to play on sequence or random or just the single bu single dance. And you click again and she's gonna dance. Also important thing when you have the dance on nothing else will be working. You always have to turn it off if you wanna do something else. And this one it's something like play or reload button. If you think your animation is stuck or something, you just click the play again and you see it's reloading the, pl the animation to play from the start again. And you can move the animations to the next one 
or back to the one before. And last thing is the menu. You have all the options in the menu. The first thing you always have to do when you get new AO or you put your own animations in this AO, you have to go to config and load the animation note card you just made or the one for the AO. Then you have to set the timer as the first thing, of course, not every time. But every time you touch the script you have to do it because it resets. The AO is for the hover, turns, all the other animations that are not listed separately. You can set the timer for these animations too. <coughs> Thing is in here you can set if you want them to play on random or sequence single and all these also important thing with the typing some previous versions of the AO had problem not problem it was working the opposite way this way the AO was off and this way was on so that's for explaining all these Futures in the AO. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to edit, add, and change the note cards sets in your AO. You have to raise your AO on the ground. In this video, I raised it on the wall. It works too. So you go in the content. Let's wait for it to load. Okay, so the main AO note card is unusual because this AO set is called unusual. Then you have the hand note card, another hands note card, and another hands note card. So the, there's three sets of hands and head sets of note cards. This one is for you, it's like empty. So if you want to make your own set, of the main AO with all of your animations and doesn't need to be from my store you can use this blank empty note card to do so but you have to think about that you will have to add all the animations to make it work you have to follow the same instructions and the way the first note card is made also in the main one there is the dance option added you will have to also add sorry, dance line under the running save it you can make as many s as many lines as you want for each animation as the AO can play more animations, or let's say multiple animations per type. Also, it has minimum of five or six animations per line. As you can see in here, the standing, there is six animations in the first line. The second line has another six animations. This way you can make many lines, but always remember keep it five or six animations per line it goes for all of these mm -mm -mm. yeah okay so this is the empty config for you to make your own AO you can make as many note cards as you like the hand animation note cards or the head animation note cards always end with the dot a dot a and the AO has the starting dot and the AO. This one is the main one. So I'm going to show you how to add animations to your AO. And those the whimsy. So I'm going to open the unusual note card. I'm going to use this blank line for standing. I'm gonna copy the names of these animations 
separate it of course I'm using all five always make sure you copy the name exactly as it's on the animation if you are not sure you can just go here and click rename or properties and copy the name save this note card with the new animations now I'm gonna take these new animations and drag them inside the AO now I'm gonna reset the scripts I think this is how you do it on this viewer I'm not sure, I hope so by the way I'm making this video in catnip viewer it's so smooth and no laggy so that's why it looks different let's see I'm gonna try to reset the scripts somewhere here if I find it <coughs> okay here reset scripts so if you want to use the same viewer it's up here in the build menu and you click the reset scripts and then accept the animation for the AO to give the permission then you take the AO in your inventory I'm gonna take copy So after you take the AO in your inventory, you can detach the one you are wearing, like me. I'm gonna add the new AO. Like I said, always have to load the note card first. In the local chat you will see the AO is loading. If there will be something wrong, you will see the error here written. Always when you have problem you can copy the chat you get from the local and send it to me. So now the AO is loaded. I'm gonna set everything again. Timer. Walks timer which is not important now let's do this ok so now it should have the new animations these all are the unusual animations I kept it at sequel to get there fast Okay, here comes the whimsy animations. So you see everything is working. The same way we added animations, you can remove animations. Also, you can just make your own sets. You can pick animations you like and mix, match and do all you want. yeah everything is working fine for me if you like these animations they are as a reward at the satanic ink if you spend more than 800 or 1500 lindens you can get these animations as the reward there is so many other great gifts i mean rewards they will be for sale at the store after the event closes and now it's back to the unusual animations of the AO I think it's my favorite for now anyways I hope this, had, this video was helpful 
I'm thinking what else I should say for the ale. Let's try this one. See, there is the animations. From the gutsy. And I can also turn the head animations on. I like this thing because it can change the animations you already have and make them look different when you're tired. And I think it's cool. I really plan to make more hand sets, maybe preloaded note cards for this. Maybe even facial animations, which you can use too. And as in my previous tutorial, I also showed you, you can use the emote animations. But you have to keep in mind the emote animations. Some of them are looping, some of them are not. And some of them even may prolong some seconds. And some may not look so good. So always keep that in mind. Anyways, I hope this helped and I thank you for your time and watching. Bye bye.